Hello and welcome to the Jojo Star YouTube channel, everything Jojo anime and manga. When the topic of Jojo villains is brought up, no other villain in the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure series is as decisive as Part 6 Stone Ocean's main bad guy, the priest with the tendency to count prime numbers when stressed, Dio's non-canon boyfriend, Enrico Pucci. His motivations and actions to reach his final goal intrigues me, so in today's video I will tell you about the most underrated villain in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Enrico Pucci, and why he should be more appreciated since he's actually quite a great antagonist. Enrico Pucci is a loyal follower and friend of Dio. He implements a plan long formulated by Dio to achieve heaven. The priest Enrico Pucci is a fanatic committed to the notion of God's will and to Dio's future in the perfect world. Raised as a Roman Catholic, he was already on the path of priesthood at the age of 15. It was at this time Dio approached Pucci and fixed his disfigured left foot using his magical vampire powers, and after they met, Enrico Pucci seemed to be deeply affected by this meeting. I find it interesting that Dio, which means God, has a loyal follower, which is deeply religious. I can go on about the religious side of Stone Ocean since I find it very interesting, however, in today's video I will mainly focus on Pucci. I personally love the interactions that Pucci and Dio has in Stone Ocean since I never can get enough of Dio, and since Dio never really forms a deep relationship with other characters in Jojo, Pucci really seems like his only genuine friend. Jonathan is the only other character I can think of in Jojo that Dio has actually shown any appreciation towards, so that Dio opens up in front of Pucci about his perfect world and stand knowledge is very intriguing in my opinion. Enrico Pucci was born with a disfigured left foot, as mentioned, though this apparently did not hinder his ability to walk. Having descended from an influential Italian family, he grew up with a wealthy upbringing and was well liked by everyone. His sister Perla fell in love with a part-time worker named Wes Blumeron. The man his sister was dating was actually Enrico's thought-to-be dead brother Domenico Pucci, and in order to protect his sister from knowing of the incest, Pucci secretly hired a private investigator group to force Wes and Perla to break up. However, he was unaware that the private investigator group held the beliefs of the KKK, who discovered that Wes's presumed father was an African American, and proceeded to lynch him. Wes was shot and hung from a noose over a cliff while Perla was beaten. The morning after this horrible event, Pucci discovered Perla's corpse from her suicide and cradled her body in sadness. He noticed a disc emerging from her head due to Dio's influence with the stand arrow, and this was the birth of White Snake. You see, Pucci meeting with Dio was still on his mind, since Pucci really wanted to follow Dio, enticed by his words, but not before tying up all the loose ends in his past. He approached Wes, who was still alive because of his stand weather report. Wes was furious at Pucci's interference in his relationship with Perla. Enrico quickly told them that they were brothers before removing Wes's memory disc from him. Wes later adopted the name Weather Report to compensate for not having a name. This sparked the duality between the brothers Enrico Pucci and Domenico Pucci. The rivalry between the brothers mirrors the same rivalry that Dio and Jonathan had in Phantom Blood. Pucci spends the remainder of that year with Dio. From him he learns the ingredients needed to formulate the perfect world. Dio grew to trust Pucci entirely and gave him one of his finger bones as a remaining fragment should he die. White Snake is Pucci's first stand, with which he may seal up to two discs from individuals. One disc contains the stand of the target, while the other disc contains the target's memories. One of the discs can be removed without further injuries, however when both discs are stolen, the target's body will slowly die, as seen with Jotaro. To fulfill Dio's plan, Pucci needed Jotaro's memory disc, so hence the plot of Stone Ocean commenced. Pucci needed to lure Jotaro to prison to steal his disc, so it was because of him, John Gallier and Pucci formed a plan to frame Jolene Cujo, and hence Jotaro coming to Green Dolphin Penitentiary. When the plot of Stone Ocean starts reaching its climax, and Dio's plan of achieving heaven starts becoming a reality, Pucci develops a new stand that enables him to reach the final stage of Dio's plan, awakening the ultimate stand to create the perfect world. Pucci awaiting New Moon, or as is also called Pucci using Sea Moon, is a scary foe to face since he can manipulate gravity with his stand. However, when Pucci develops Made in Heaven, the ultimate stand to create the perfect world with further instructions from Dio's diary, this stand has the ability to create the perfect world by steadily increasing the speed of time, till the universe's reconstruction. As you heard, Pucci is a very interesting character, which I believe is highly underrated in the JoJo's fandom. 
I believe this to be the case as Stone Ocean is a rather decisive part. However, when the part 6 anime is finally released, then maybe people can see the true depth in Pushi's character from a different perspective, and then maybe he can finally reach the higher appreciation that he deserves in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure community. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like and subscribe, share this video around, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below.